So one thing is like this. Uh, we are going to try to, uh, you know, make you robot experts in two days. <laughs> so we are going to have these, uh, the goal is to make a stage production. You know, so like these, uh, I'm sorry, these robots will do something together. Position, it could be not a reachable, no single motion of all these joints that could sit there. Yeah, so it's so not usually like, like yeah. Yeah. But that's, yeah. that depends, that depends yeah. on the yeah. thing. Yeah, and that's just something I think we, could we can look through later. Yeah. As long as we get the basic yeah, stuff. That's all. Way that's too a bit much. off, yeah. 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 And, but, but when it moves back, it just fits. It's perfect. So, yeah. I do think it's okay. I think it's.
as you can see, we have two kind of different kind of robots. The uh, big one is the humanoid now, and the little ones are the Lego Mindstorm NXTs. And now Johanna will tell you about the motor words of the uh, the uh, uh, nows. Yes, hello. So we were working mostly with the movement of the robots, and you can see from the programming that we used, this is called the choreographer. And so it gives you a picture of, uh, uh, it's a virtual picture. You can choose one part or an arm to move, and then you can set up the motion in things called keyframes. So there's a timeline across the top that shows you um, each box will have a position in it. It's like a scene of a picture of the robot. So when you set it, you tell it what position you want it to be in when the frame is finished. Once that's set, it'll move and transition automatically from the last position, whether it was standing or whatever it was doing, to having its hand on its hip and does all of the transitions automatically. The challenge was keeping the robots in balance and making sure that you didn't ruin the motors. For example, if it moves itself and you move the arm into the body, it can damage the motors. And this is a 10,000 euro machine, so it's really $40,000 US, so you've got to be careful. So definitely. But that's about it. So, so now Nita will tell you also about the code, how you, how you program the home humanoids. Um, just like Joanna just spoke about, the robots do a lot of movements from talking, walking, um, hand movements. So um, how do we put all of this together in terms of code? Um, we use a finite state machine with lots of states. which um, And each state had um, a, a sequence of keyframes or all the movements that um, the robot would do. And um, there, there was communication between um, many things. So it was communication between uh, the two nows. And um, the computer would communicate to both, of, uh, both types of robots, because these two robots couldn't communicate, couldn't communicate between each other. So we kind of used that as an uh, intermediate. Um, so it would send out a command, and that state, uh, and that's appropriate state would um, come into play. And this was in C++. And um, the individual movements were kind of uh, coded in uh, Python. And yeah. So now uh, Bay will tell us about the NXT. So as you can see, the, the NXTs are not as interesting as the nows. They only have three motors, two on its wheel, and one on its arm. And we can program them in Robotics C, as you can see on the screen have them move at a certain speed and at, at, at a certain amount of time. For example, if we want to have them move in an arc, you just have to have the outer wheel move faster than the inner wheel. And you, you can even define the angle in this way. Now, I'm really going to talk about how multi robots can communicate with each other. Uh, so the robots communicate via the XB uh, communication module, which if you see this little blue light, that's roughly where it is. Uh, so they send each other strings. So in this demonstration, we set up a program where the first robot decides based on a random number what action out of the sequence of actions that we programmed it would perform. Uh, the other robot knows nothing and receives a string from the first robot uh, being told what it's supposed to do. So they do the same random actions together. <laughs> so now let's have fun. Okay. <laughs> 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 